Hey, I'm Justin, welcome to Diabet Tech. I am checking out one of the coolest new pieces of tech in the diabetes field. This is a tubeless insulin pump that is semi-reusable. This is the Nia Essential. This is the first of a line of three pumps that PharmaSense hopes to produce. This one is currently with the FDA, so it could be coming soon. Their line includes also another one that is the Nia Advanced that has the ability to connect to a CGM and the Nia Signature. And that one, they plan to ingrain a CGM in the device. So you would have an all-in-one. So something cool about this device is that for its size, which I'll show you compared to my Omnipod in just a second, it's pretty impressive because it holds three milliliters of insulin. That's 300 units. So. Look at this, compared to the Omnipod, it's slightly higher up. I believe it's three millimeters higher, but when it comes to surface area, it really doesn't take up much surface area. In fact, it takes up less. So I have the awesome opportunity to speak with someone from PharmaSense and get to show off what it's like to fill this thing up because it is semi-reusable. There are certain pieces that can be used on and on again, and hopefully we are you know, putting less waste into the system, which is, you know, something that we tackle with with diabetes all the time. If you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like. And for more content on diabetes technology and from this event, be sure to subscribe to the channel. All right, let's go talk to them. Ooh, it's beeping, it's ready. I'm here with Anna and Anna's gonna tell me all about how, to, what comes in these packages. Plus we're gonna show off how to, to fill things up. But first, just tell me, what are these boxes? Yeah, this is the, we call it the welcome kit. So if you open this up, you, it says hello. Hello. <laughs> and uh, you have all the reusable parts. So you will have the pump, the filling aid, and a small vial holder. All the things that are not disposable, disposables are over here. Okay, great. And you also have the manual if you want to. Okay. And how long do these parts last? Is it like forever or is there like a time? Two years actually, okay. yeah. Okay, got it. So the, the main part in this one is of course the, the reusable part of the, okay. of the pump. So two years. Okay, awesome. All right, we're gonna do some movie magic and we're gonna have all the filling stuff here in just a second. Wow, oh my God, there it is. That was, that was movie magic there. Fantastic. So, <laughs> So tell us what we have here. Can you explain each piece? Let's let's start with this one. Yeah, this is, what do you think that is? I think that this is the reusable part of the pump that okay. you wear. Perfect. It's okay. that, it's uh, two years of that one. Okay. So two years lifetime. Can you tell me a little bit about the buttons on here and how they work? Uh, yes, for bolus, you press the side buttons and we can go into the details later, but it's mainly you click once. If you have programmed it for half a unit, one unit or two units, you click one, two, three, whatever you want. Okay. So, uh, yeah, and then and for starting, you press all three. Okay. And to safety. Okay, and then currently on this system, all the controls are right on the pump. There's yes. no phone app, right? Exactly. So this okay. is the first of the three pumps. It's really made to make more people move into insulin pumps okay. because many people uh, find it too complex today, uh, overwhelming with uh, connections and pairing and apps, etc. So this is really the first baby step towards insulin pumping. Cool. All right. Now explain to us what we're doing here. What are these pieces? Uh, this is a filling aid. So this is also a reusable part for two years. And uh, these are the disposables. So okay. if we lift here, we have the, let's say the second part of the pump. So okay. that we have the reusable and this disposable. And then this is, is the adhesive right around there. Yes. Okay. And what you see here is the insulin reservoir. And uh, to increase the wear time and also decrease the therapy cost, we have 300 units here. So we can uh, have less disposables for the same amount of volume, let's say. What is the length of wear time? Did you go to the FDA with a length of wear time? Yes, we have a predicate device, uh, which is called Omnipod. So we go okay. with their wear time okay. at the moment, but we will extend that okay, because great. we would like people to use the whole uh, yeah. three units, right? Great, awesome, okay. And then this right here, that's the refillable. Yes, exactly. Uh, the reusable piece, okay. so. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. So walk, uh, walk me through this. We've got the reusable piece. Yeah, the disposable one, the reusable one. Oh yeah, sorry. So you... here you have a blue mark and here you have a blue mark. Okay. So you clip those two together. That's okay. It. Yeah. And then you place uh, the vial holder in here. 
Okay. And so this is also disposable, yes. right? Okay. There. You press it down, and then you place your bottle in there. Okay. And this is a syringe, so you need to press air into the bottle, and then you you um, pull back to fill with okay. insulin. I really like the feel of this. <laughs> yeah. It's I mean, comfortable. It, it's done because um, many people find it difficult with a syringe, you know, okay. fill and then also knowing, do I have bubbles in my insulin? Yeah. Do, did I feel bubbles in my patch, right? Mm -hmm. So here, uh, you, you continue. The clicks, yes. I, I, that were three clicks, was that yeah. okay? And then you pull back. So yeah. the idea is really that you can see if you have any bubbles. And if you have a bubble. There is a bubble. Yeah. You bring so it I just up. go like that, kind of, yeah, exactly. and then and you pop it down. out. And, and now then. you're completely sure there are no bubbles in your insulin, right? Okay, great. That's so great. now, you take this off. Oh, oh my. Huh. Oh, yeah. don't do it like that. No. Luckily, it's what. It's what There's a little trace of insulin. Yeah. There's a trace of insulin. You take. <laughs> You take the bottle first. Okay, okay. You take the plastic then. That was funny. That was funny. Okay, cool. <laughs> we knew that could happen, but we didn't say anything. Okay. Exactly. Great. Yeah. So right there you have the, the patch. Yes. Okay, cool. And then you place your reusable on the top. And there's also a mark on the reusable. Here, you see, go to that one. So you, you see oh, that Oh, okay. So there's an arrow here, an arrow there. Yeah. I'm gonna place this. I can push down. Yes. Okay. It's it's a demo, but uh, it will work. Okay. Yeah. Push down. I yeah. think it. Yeah. And yeah. then how do I get it out? And then you just lift it up, and now, oh. like this. Yeah. So there's a there's a piece on this side which obviously doesn't feel like it would be flush. Like what is that exactly? Yeah, it's the protection for the needle because behind that you have the needle. Okay. And we have a protection. Then when you click your buttons, you, you place the pump, right? Okay. And, and when I click, I'm ready, I click, yeah. and then this uh, collapse, and the needle oh, goes in. Oh, wow. So, because we also see some issues with leakage with patch pumps. That okay. We're not sure, is my, um, is my cannula in, okay. or you see something, is leakage because it's bent. Here is a straight fixed needle. Okay, so awesome. So, a safety thing. Great. All right. Well, thank you so much, Anna. This was this was so awesome. Yes. That was fun. There were some fun surprises. <laughs> yeah, I see that. So there you have it. That is the Nia Essential Tubeless Pump. I've got more information on it on my YouTube channel. I have another video, so I'll put that video in the description. Also, PharmaSense is going to come on the podcast to talk more about it, so we'll get even more information. I'm excited to hear more about their pipeline of pumps and that pump and CGM all in one. I've also got a ton more content coming from ATT. D. I'll throw some of those video links in the description, uh, but be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I'm Justin, and I'll take you later.